the tugboat, for its size, is the most powerful craft afloat. And the star tugs are the power behind the docks and waterways that make up the big city port. This is Tugs. Adrift. Written by the Buried Chuck. Read and adapted for audio by TARDIS 9. Big City Port was in the grips of a strange winter. Water that was calm one moment whipped up into violent waves the next, and razor-sharp winds threw snow all around. The tugboats had to weather it. <laughs> After all, the work wouldn't do itself. On a grey evening, Zack found himself floating out by the estuary. The Zeb stacks were busy in the port, but Zoran had ordered him to the harbour mouth in case any ships needed a tow. <sighs> Anyone would think he was captain, growled Zack. <sighs> well, at least he knows to leave the big work to a proper tug. He scanned the water, but no ships lay on the horizon. He sounded his whistle, but only the whining wind answered his call. If only there was work out here, he muttered to himself. Zack was ready to give up the ghost when, seemingly out of nowhere, the silhouette of a ship appeared not far away. <sighs> Strange, probably didn't see it in the dark, Zack thought. Zack floated towards the ship. Strangely, the further out he sailed, the quieter the wind became, as if being silenced. Zack didn't notice. He just wanted to get the job over with. Uh, ahoy! He called. Looking to get into po- He stopped short as the ship's details came into view. It was a tramp steamer, and an old one at that. Its hull was dented and scratched, groaning as it bobbed in the water. Ice clung to its rusty railings, and its face was tinged blue. A rough journey, then? Zack asked dryly. The tramper stared wide-eyed at him. <laughs> Please, it shivered. <sighs> Help me. In typical Zedstack fashion, Zack showed no concern. He had a slimy idea. It won't be cheap. Big thing like you, only one of me. Not to mention all that damage on you. Gonna cost a pretty penny. <laughs> Help me, was all the tramper said. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes, grinned Zack. Right then, let's get on with it. Quickly, Zack attached a tow line to the tramper. He looked out across the water. All was calm. Right, he said. You're in good hands now, lad. With a hoot, he started off. Just as the tow line went taut, a huge gust whipped up around Zack. Snow blew from every direction, stinging his face and blanketing the world around him. Hey, what's going on? Zack yelled into the void, his eyes shut tight as he winced. In seconds that felt like years, the storm ceased. Zack cautiously opened one eye. The sea was as calm as before, as if there'd been no storm at all. <sighs> The sooner this winter is over, the better, he grunted. You all right back there? There was no reply. Hey, I said are you... Zack looked back to find the tramper gone. What? How the... He wondered. 
he stared at the horizon in bewilderment, and there, once again, was the ship's silhouette. <sighs> That's some powerful wind, I suppose, he thought. Quickly, Zack steamed out the ship. It stared at him with the same frightened look. <laughs> Don't blame you, he chuckled. I don't fancy taking a ride like that myself. Once more, he attached his tow line and sounded his whistle. Whoosh! Again, and more violent than before, the wind and snow swirled around him like a hurricane. Now Zack could feel something bumping up hard against his hull, cold and creaking. He didn't dare open his eyes. Not that he could see anyway. Oh, but it felt like ice. Ouch! He cried. What's the deal, huh? All at once, everything stopped. Zack cracked his eyes open again. There was no snow or wind. He looked at the water around him and found no trace of ice. Stranger still, his hull was completely unharmed. Zack stared wide-eyed at the horizon. Once again, the mysterious ship was out in the distance. The cold suddenly became bearable as Zack's engine began steaming in anger. Is someone playing a joke on me? He shouted across the water. Naturally, he got no answer. All right, he scowled. Enough of this. That ship is coming with me even if it takes all night. It'll be my salvage if it's the last thing I do. Not worth the fight. I'd let this one go, my darling. It was Hercules, returning from an ocean-going contract. None of your concerns, Star, sneered Zack. You may be bigger, but it's finders keepers. I wouldn't try bringing that wreck in to stay afloat, and neither should you. You'll drive yourself mad, replied Hercules. And why is that? demanded Zack. That ship is not of this world. <laughs> Can't drive me away that easily. <laughs> Oldest trick in the book. <laughs> Didn't know you stars are so desperate for work that you'd resort to ghost stories. <laughs> Cackled Zack. I don't believe in ghosts, sweetheart, Hercules glared. But bigger tugs than you and I have tried to tow that vessel in. But never succeeding, of course. But I'll hazard you've already gathered that. <sighs> Not my fault, Zack growled. It's this weather. What weather? asked Hercules. It's as calm as a clam. And yet, when you're near that ship, he trailed off. All right, then. Go on. What do you know? Hercules paused. No one knows for certain. The story goes that long ago it became mired in heavy ice during a winter storm. Damaged and stranded, it was abandoned by its crew. When they came back to salvage it, they found nothing. It was assumed, of course, that it sunk, but... But what? Barked Zack. It just kept appearing out at sea, continued Hercules. Ever damaged, begging for someone to help set it free. Hercules looked out at sea. Of course I tried to help it once. No honest tug would ignore a distressed call. You've seen the line as I tow. That ship was a dinghy by comparison. Hercules paused and gave a dry chuckle. <laughs> no amount of strength in the world could bring that tramper in. <laughs> Something always goes wrong, and every time it does, that ship gets further and further away, taunting and baiting you to try again. Some wisely give up, others stubbornly keep trying, but that mad desire to succeed only leads them to Davy Jones's locker. Zack gulped, though he tried to hide it from Hercules. Of course, if you zeros are really that desperate for work, 
smirked Hercules. You could try again, but I don't fancy having to tell Captain Zero he'll need a new harbour tug. You might as well make your home out here in the estuary. Toodaloo, my dear. Hercules gave a whistle and set off back towards Big City. Zack didn't reply. He looked out towards the tramper. It sat motionless, the rising moon a backdrop to its eerie silhouette. To Zack, the sounds of ice hitting steel echoed in the distance, and the wind seemed to carry faint cries for help. Oh, forget it, he snarled. But probably not worth that much as salvage anyway. For the final time, Zack turned away from the mysterious ship and followed Hercules into the port. The ship stayed where it was, floating aimlessly in the silent sea. Though it didn't stay silent for long. <laughs> yeah, uh, where's that old Zack? Wind Soren, floating out towards the estuary. I told him to bring in ships. Zoran looked out onto the horizon and spotted a waiting ship. <laughs> he chuckled. Here's loss. Captain Zero will be pleased with the salvage money that wreck brings in. I wonder if Zoran will come to his senses like Zack. Don't you?